Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the dusty roads of Hard Shock Apocalypse. So, last time we talked, I promised that I'm gonna finish up my business in Fatherland, and we are going to move on to the next location, which is Ridzin. And I did. I did finish up our business. Oh, don't crash there. This is scary. I did wrap uh, everything there was to do. And also, uh, while I was exploring, I guess we should get get going here. Um, let's just hope we don't crash. Because uh, really, playing Hard Shock Apocalypse is pretty much like flying a plane. You just uh, you go through the gate, and then you hope you don't crash. Right? Makes sense. Think about it. Anyway, as I was driving around. Fighting some bandits, I was. I've been thinking. Oh, speaking of fighting bandits, there's a hunchback. What's this? A named enemy? I've never seen that before. I, I'm actually kind of confused. Did we suddenly stumble upon something we're not supposed to be seeing just yet? Or is this just a thing? Maybe we completed the side quests uh, suddenly? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> talk about what I wanted to talk eventually. Uh, we're going to Midgard, okay, that's a, an original name for a city, and a few other places I can think off the top of my head. That's alright. Um, should we follow the road? I mean, it is going a different way. Sure, let's follow this road. It, it's gonna lead us somewhere eventually. So, as I was saying, I, as I was driving around, I uh, discovered some things, and the, uh, what I discovered that was that I think I have a pretty good understanding of how the game's uh, enemy spawn system, as well as loot drop system, works. And the way this works, oh, we're full. Oh my God, we're actually full. Uh, yeah, we don't want this big AT, and we probably want to dump this Spectre, grab the scrap metal, we'll keep the, uh, our big AT. And the way the system works is uh, that the game spawns enemies and loot uh, that they are carrying based either on your equipment or maybe the total value of your truck with all the items equipped, I'm not sure, but it's something like that. And uh, it's essentially encouraging uh, the rich get richer philosophy. And what I mean by that is that we're, instead of, uh, you know, farming and saving up, we are probably gonna um, focus on. Oh, I guess it's just a. just a. just a. just a gas station, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Alright, let's uh, head towards Midgard. I think that's the city right there. So instead of uh, farming and driving around uh, hoping we can stumble upon something that will propel us to the top, we're probably gonna take a more gradual path with our upgrades. So uh, right now, unless there's a new truck uh, available in Mingard straight away, we're probably gonna be looking at purchasing a new cabin, because as we've seen in uh, one of the previous episodes, if we uh, go for the body right now where we'll be uh, left defenseless without a gun because uh, the best body for the lorry actually features a 3x2 three, three gun slot instead of a 2x2 two two, uh, which is the type of gun we are currently using and have in our possession man I wish I wish I had more cargo space this is killing me right now I hope this stuff does not despawn in the time we uh, make it to Midgard and back. I'm gonna try. Uh, so yeah, we will be left defenseless if we upgrade the body, so we probably want to upgrade the cabin first. Which, in turn, should also allow us to go faster and get to our destinations quicker. Uh, there's, uh, which, uh, since this game has so much, uh, so much driving involved, it's only natural that we're gonna focus on making that process a little bit quicker. Oh, they paid the big bucks for the scrap metal. Man, they love metal. The metal heads in Midgard, am I right? 
Or am I right? Okay. So new trucks, the van and the lorry, and that's it. Sadly, that's alright. So, like I said, let's check uh, the bodies just for shits and giggles. Yes, yeah, so a box. Box is the type of body we are looking to get. And if we take a look at this, it has a an actual a no, uh, whole vertical row of uh, what am I trying to say? Of uh, squares here. What we actually want to buy is a thorn, but sadly, it's not excellent. It's not excellent. We can't buy it. I mean, we can buy it, but it's, it's, it seems like such a waste, doesn't it? Man, that's a bummer. I was really looking forward to going to Ridzen just because there might have been something better available. But, alas. Alright, let's talk to the barman. Hello, traveler. Hello, potion seller. Do you have any work for me to do? We collected several pieces of precious machinery, deliver them to Eterna. Local technicians will pay you the big bucks for your work, I sure as hell agree. Easiest job in my life, I imagine. Uh, what about the museum? Citizen. Who's... Seems to, seems to be qu quite happy that he's irradiated. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, okay. <laughs> what do we need? I am looking for a girl. His name is Alice. Do you happen to know where she is now? She was here, but she left for Porto several hours ago. Hot damn. We're right on your heels. That's great. I will keep searching. So, uh, we've been redirected to a different location, which is Porto, which is down here. The only known port town, also known as Porto. Um, and the side quest takes us down here, where the city Eterna is, I imagine. So now we face a, uh, face a dilemma of uh, where we actually want to go uh, in this episode. And I'm thinking we've been, um, we've been fo focusing pretty heavily on side stuff. So maybe it's time we actually, let's quick save, we actually do some main missions. So I'm gonna head on towards Porto. And uh, hopefully we will run into some more settlements along the way. Um, and pick up some more side quests and maybe if there's a city in our path, maybe we can even uh, look for a better cabin there. That would be nice. Mad Mask? Not sure what that's supposed to be. Also, never mind what I said about uh, coming back for that stuff. That stuff is surely gone. That scrap metal is scrap dust. Now, that's what I say. This looks like a settlement. In fact, this is a farmer's union town. Hey guys, friendlies. Of course, <laughs> that's a Russian. That's a Russian word. Um, man, I love the music for this game. I can't stress this enough. It's so good. Uh, Hornet. Yeah, we want to sell that. But they say potato. They sell potatoes in Kolkhoz. That's very appropriate. Uh, right, Barman Leon, talk to me. He doesn't have anything for us to do. So sadly, oh, don't want to run you over, my fellow citizen. So yeah, this sucks, but hey, what can you do? Such are, uh, such is the randomly generated nature of the game. So they say, we probably should have checked out this hangar up there, now that I think about it, but... Ah, uh, we can do it later. I'm still sort of trying to figure out the best way to tackle this these episodes because uh, the game seems to be a lot. Uh, there seems to be a whole lot of driving with nothing to do. A lot more than I actually remember from uh, my days playing the game way back when. So you know, I can only ramble for so long, and uh, yeah. 
If you guys have any suggestions, maybe you, you guys uh, want to see a bit more action and a bit less just uh, driving from place to place. And uh, you, maybe you guys want to cut it down, uh, want me to cut it down uh, manually and hell, hell if you, enough people ask me to do it, I will. So, now's your chance to influence the let's play. Alright, Olympus! I'm pretty sure we got sidetracked as I was rambling once again, but hey, we found a new town. And they also sell scrap metal and potatoes. Hey, this is lucrative. Uh, they have uh, seven stacks of scrap metal, which we can buy for 210 and sell for around four or five hundred in Midgard. So, yeah, that's something to consider. All right, Elder Zeus. Talk to me. Please deliver this package to gas station. It is a sign of our respect to its people. They will gladly pay you some money. Sure. A little money never hurt nobody. Um, okay, let's take a look at where gas station is. Oh, it's it's back there. That God damn it. Uh, Alright, we're not going to be doing this now. So, that's alright. So. Oh yeah, we did get a bit sidetracked. So we probably want to swing back around. And get on this highway. This, this looks like a highway of sorts. And that should lead us to Porto and some bandits. Let's... Handle these fools real quick. Oh, we got a lorry coming for us. I'm with uh, just a hornet, so no worries. I also discovered you can actually ram enemies and do uh, a not, a not insignificant amount of damage to them, if you so desire. But that would probably work way better if you have an like. An, oh my god! Oh my god! What's this like? A Spawning ground or, or something. Where do you guys even come from? There's like a hole in the ground just spurting you guys out. Let's tackle the scout just so it doesn't interfere. All right, blams. It's done. It's toast. It's my breakfast. All right. Uh, get rid of the hornet. Grab the scrap metal. And move along. So I don't think I finished explaining the new philosophy we're going to be uh, adopting from this episode onwards. And that is, uh, like I said, we're going to be upgrading pretty much uh, as uh, often as possible. Because that should in turn uh, raise, uh, raise uh, the enemy levels. Which should in turn bring us better loot. And uh, next time we reach shop, I'm gonna show you guys uh, why that is important. Because uh, there are, uh, as you obviously know, there are a few. Oh, we we'll probably wanna check that place out, like a Stonehenge type of thing. Um, yeah, I'm not fighting you guys. Because uh, there are. Fixed goods that, that are available, like scrap metal, or wood, or potatoes, you know. And, uh, the more down the list you go, or the further down the list you go, the more uh, significant the jumps in the value become. So we want to hit the next level of goods as soon as possible, just so we can start selling the uh, the stuff and uh, make our money back quickly. At least that's the plan. That's what I'm trying to do here. I'm, I'm not quite sure. This is all experimental based purely on my uh, personal experience. What is up with these fucking bandits around here? Are you seeing this? We've never had so much combat. Man. People in Ridzen don't mess around, don't do they? Holy shit. Alright, is this Porto? Have we made it to Porto? Yes, we did. 
beaten up quite badly. Nothing uh, a good mechanic can't fix. Thankfully, here is the town. We're gonna sell our scrap metal. Oh, here we go. Here comes the best song. So, yes, thankfully, they also like buying scrap metal here in Porto as well. And they do sell trucks and parts for trucks. Ah, uh, just whirlpools. Man, this fucking blows. This fucking blows! It feels like I've been tricked. I've been promised better equipment. And there's none to be found. Damn. That's alright. Alright. To the bar. Uh, talk to me, barman. Barman is useless. Citizen Kane. What? Are you talking to me? Don't you know where I can find a girl named Alice? No, this is never... Is this, like, your typical old guy? When you ask him one thing and he replies with just something entirely different? Like, I'm looking for Alice! Whoa! Who? Oh, Lisa? I don't know no Lisa! You know the, you know the type. The, either that or it's just a, an error in translation. You, you decide. <laughs> so she never came here. She was probably attacked by raiders on her way here. The hideout is at the seashore. I will go check it out. It's okay. So we're just like a glorified basketball with a laser strap to it, getting bounced from one place to another. All right, archaeologist. He looks suspiciously like a, an elder I've met a couple of minutes ago. That's all right. We are honest archaeologists, but some rogues hinder us from our dig. We would be grateful if you get rid of them. Sure. More quests. Never say no to a, to a side quest. And uh, let's check out what exactly they want us to do. It's nearby, and it's sort of on our way to our next uh, story objective, so we can do that. Quick save. Always remember to quick save. Whoa. Yep, back up, back up, back up. Let the turrets handle this guy. There we go. You fool. Goddamn fool. They never learn, do they? Okay. So, uh, the plan is we're gonna tackle this. Uh, a little side mesh we got for ourselves. What are you trying to do here? Get out of here, scout. Like playing Team Fortress or something. Um, and then, after we beat the side mission, we're probably gonna uh, head on to the story objective. Yes, that's, that's the plan. Oh, don't crash. We're going the right way. Yes, we are indeed. A lot of roads around here. Pro you guys probably don't want to see me just drive around, so I do have my uh, job cut out for me. I'm gonna, I am gonna though uh, swing swing by this little side path here, just because we're around. So yeah, I, I do have my job uh, pretty much laid out for me. Uh, in between the episodes. Who's this? The Benjamin. I'm gonna get some Benjamins. For what you're packing. In the shop. Hornets. Useless. You guys have been guarding something or so? Oh, there we go. There's some conveniently placed treasure. Which is some scrap metal. Ah, uh, it's alright. This... This little diversion wasn't completely pointless, I guess. Let's quick save again. So yeah, I'm gonna be driving down these roads uh, in between the episodes, figuring out places to go, stuff to do, uh, pretty much lay out a uh, game plan for us for the next episode, because this one is we're pretty much uh, getting settled in uh, to this new location, which is Ridzen. In case you missed it. 
So, it should be approaching the dig, and this guy is around it. What? That was it. This guy, of all the enemies, was giving you trouble. This guy. Alright. I mean, they paid me a hundred coins, so it's not like... Uh, it was worse. It was barely worth the trouble. Honestly. It's alright. So, this took uh, way less time than I anticipated, that, but that's alright. We are going to take this different path down here and hope that it leads us to uh, the bandit base. We'll see if it does in a minute. Oh, let's quick save off. I've broken this habit um, as I was uh, driving around in Fatherland just uh, recently, and boy did I regret that because I, I've been uh, so. Here's the story: I drive into town uh, after another uh, successful trip killing the bandits, and uh, what happens is I go to repair my truck, per usual, and I accidentally hit the repair all button, and I repair my fucking Maxim for, what was that, like, 23 grand or something? It's just something ridiculous. And, uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's uh, ob I obviously reloaded, but did lose a bunch of progress, so save as often as possible, kids. It's the moral of the story. Alright, Roadster. That's a hell of a name for a town. I was kind of hoping you guys would be selling uh, vehicle parts here, but uh, with a name like that, but I guess I was mistaken. That's alright, I'll just take my business elsewhere then. Ah, Barman Lee. You're useless, much like most of your brethren. Auto Sports Inc. Incorporated. Entrepreneur. I'm opening a battle arena at the Ancient Coliseum. Best warriors from all over the world will fight there. The trouble is that nobody knows about us. A little publicity would help us much. Could you visit local towns and tell people about it? That was not what I was expecting when I started reading this uh, paragraph. I was kind of hoping we were going to be fighting in this arena, but hey, we got to start somewhere. So yeah, this might be interesting. And let's see uh, what this guy actually wants us to do. Hip to organize the Colosseum's work. We need to inform... Portos, Midgards, and Eterna's people. Which means the Eterna, that Eterna here is actually a major town. Like Midgard and Porto. This is good to know. Yes, it's a border town surrounded by fields. Okay. Okay, so we're gathering some info this episode. Pretty much like a reconnaissance mission, you can call it. A new book is added to the books. Uh, to the books. Uh, Registry. Alright. Help me out here, Techno. Techno people. Man, that's a hell of a hunting party, isn't it? Too bad you guys picked the pretty much the worst time to attack. There we go. Now. Yeah, now we'll reap the benefits. So let's repair. Sell this craps. Uh, sell this useless PKT. Pick up the rest of the loot. Like so. Back into town we go. Sell this craps. And is this PKT actually... Yeah, it's better than our current one, because it's less fucked up. So we're gonna sell our broken one. I am uh, sticking to this PKT because uh, the cabin, uh, Thorn, which I'm planning to upgrade to, actually has a 2x2 two two slot. So this, uh, this is where the PKT will go. If we ever find an excellent version of the cabin. 
Yeah, I'm not fighting you guys. You, you guys can go to hell. Got stuff to do. Got places to visit. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna take this road back to... Oh man, is that the, uh, is that the Stonehenge? Well, what do you know? I actually wanted to go that uh, there anyway. So hey, it all works out in the end. So we're probably gonna get into a big fight here. Oh shit. Yeah, don't wanna... Don't aggro these guys, please. We're probably gonna be getting into a pretty big fight here. I imagine. That's what you would expect going into the bandit's base. Alright, here we are. What's it gonna be? Well, well. You've come to the wrong place, pal. Really? A scout. Wait, that's Alice! That's just straight up Alice! Okay. Things just got interesting. Let's dispose of these jokers. Hey. Oh, you you ain't fooling anybody. Your terrible voice acting is giving you away. Stop driving away from me. We can stop and talk. Oh, she's playing coy. He's falling for it. Also, can we like not drive away? I ask questions here. Tell me who attacked me. You're the only witness. Take your time. Who was it? Uh huh. That's a, that's a new faction. How do you know? I travel a lot. I look for lost technology and artifacts. I see. But why would they attack innocent people like us? Something drives them out of their lairs. Their attacks have become more and more frequent lately. Many towns suffer from their raids. I will avenge. They will die, all of them. Man, you can really hear the passion in his Don't voice. There's no need to kill everybody. The man you need is their leader, Axel. Destroy him, and his evil empire will fall. Can you say that he's the emperor? Does he perchance have? A fully armed and operational Absolutely. battle station? <laughs> you must know that he is a dangerous man. It would be quite a challenge to get him. Don't worry about that. Just show me the way. There is only one way I'm aware of. The tunnel under the mountains. Ask somebody in Asgard if they will show it to you. Farewell, hero. Hero? Thanks for the help. I... Honestly? I do not trust her. Still. I, I think she's... Uh, I think our buddy here just got played. That's what I think. Actually, I'm gonna call it that Axel might not be uh, such a bad guy after all. So. Um... We did complete our uh, story objective, got some money, uh, there was also some book, I think it was, uh, it got added. Yeah, the Colosseum ad, okay. The best warriors of the world will fight on the Colosseum's arena. Ancient ruins will once more host the best entertainment for your pleasure. You can watch the mortal combat, <laughs> feel the smell of burning rubber, and feel the metal grinding. Being in the safety of your seats. It's worth seeing. <laughs> that's... Oh, man. That's a hell of a pitch line. 
come to our Coliseum, it's worth seeing. Man, all right. <laughs> oh, that's one pitch. I can tell you that. So, um, I'm probably gonna go back to Midgard and then... Actually, you know what? Here's the plan. Uh, we are going to go to this gas station, deliver the package, then swing back to Midgard, and then we're gonna stop the episode. How do you think of What do you think about that? I think we got a plan. So hey, we did get a lot of uh, story stuff done this episode. We also got a whole a lot richer, I think. Just based solely on an amount of the amount of uh, uh, scrap metal we got to sell, if anything. We're pro scrap metal sellers now. Got our license and everything. Pro scrap metal dealer. I'm gonna get myself a six wheeler. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I really gotta work on my freestyle uh, skills. Huh? It's alright. It's okay. We'll get there. What's this little, uh, little, uh, shack, like a farmhouse doing up here? Is this anything? It's, uh, nothing, I guess. Well, it is an on the way to the gas station, though, so I cannot complain. We did uh, cover a bit more ground on our map. So all is good in the world. All right. So as I said, a pretty good reconnaissance mission. We uh, there seems to be a whole lot more going on in Ridzen than in Fatherland, which I'm quite thankful for. Thankful for. Uh, although, oh, there we go. Delivered the package. Got our thousand coins. All is good in the world. Although, if I heard her uh, Alice correctly, she actually pointed us back to Fatherland. We actually were actually supposed to go back and um, visit Asgard, and then probably go to a different location. I'm not sure because uh, there's pretty much nothing else for us to do in Asgard. So yeah, this is gonna be interesting. I th I'm thinking we might uh, stick uh, with Ridzin though for a little while more. So for the next episode we're pro probably gonna be exploring some more of this location. Let's kite these guys to Midgard, just so they uh, get riddled by the turrets. Oh, I'm gonna run this guy over. Come on, techno turrets. To my side, to my aid! Oh, there we go, this guy died. Thanks for the loot, sucker! All right. And we made it. So, sell the goods. Repair the truck. Man, look at these guns. Look at these fucking guns. Machine guns, cannons, explosive damage. It's like Oh man, this looks like a fucking anti-aircraft gun. Hot damn, this is so cool. What? Soon. Soon. Oh, don't want to pronounce that name, I guess. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, nothing new here, sadly. Showman. I could bring good news. That's a pretty cool looking mask. We are opening the battle arena at the Colosseum. Great! I'll make sure everybody get, gets to know it. Uh, we had some part of our side quest. I totally forgot about that. So, I'm thinking that just another day in the office. Let's quick save. 
So yeah, this is gonna do it for today's episode of Hard Rock Apocalypse. Got a lot of stuff done. We have a, a pretty well-defined objective and a pretty uh, solid plan for the next episode. We're actually gonna be tackling uh, the side missions in Ridzin. So, stay tuned for that. As for today, that is all. Thank you guys for watching and I shall see you later. Take care.